And in Grand Rapids, leaders with the city's school district held a panel on mental health and its impact on students this evening. Fox News Marisa Oberly attended it and is live in the newsroom with what families need to know. Marisa. Janice and Josh, GRPS put on tonight's meeting and another one held last month after four students brought guns to their classrooms during the 2022-2023 school year. Officials stress that in order to reduce incidents like it in the future, they need to prioritize their scholars' emotional needs just as much as the physical ones. The more our staff is mental, mentally stable or safe, uh, the more likely they're able to provide that care and support and or recognition for our scholars. The biggest thing to do is, is speak up, uh, be a listening ear, and if you need support, uh, we can offer support. And if we can offer support, we have community members that we can put you in touch with. Mel Atkins oversees the district's mental health resources. He says they employ 24 therapists. And while that may not seem like a lot, three years ago, that number was zero. GRPS also partners with other organizations like Kent School Services Network, Family Outreach Center, and DA Blodgett to provide further support. Atkins notes the district seeks out funding opportunities and recruits for hard to fill positions year round, but sometimes faces challenges such as a nationwide lack of social workers. He sat on tonight's panel with four other community members who work as counselors throughout West Michigan. They told the crowd that the care the adults in a child's life shows like teachers and parents helps keep them safe inside and outside the classroom and encourage those people to speak openly and honestly with students and acknowledge their feelings and experiences too. You really have to do active listening, active, active observing, um, and we have to almost go out of our way. If it's even uncomfortable or it makes us look absolutely silly, we have to meet kids on their level and where they are to actually break through and get that level of vulnerability and transparency that we need. Now, GRPS announced this evening that it will make a decision on whether to continue the backpack ban it implemented at the end of the year by July. The superintendent also added that the district is looking to purchase some additional metal detectors, but did not give more specific details. We, of course, will keep you updated both on air and online when we do learn that information. But for now, reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.